हेलो एवरीवन टुडेज टॉपिक इज क्रोमोसोम्स द क्रोमोसोम्स वर डिस्कवर्ड बाय नागली टर्म वाज गिवन बाय वॉल्डियर एंड इट्स फंक्शनल सिग्निफिकेंस वाज गिवन बाय सटन क्रोमोसोम्स आर प्रेजेंट इन न्यूक्लियस बट कैन बी सीन ओनली ड्यूरिंग द मेटाफेज स्टेज ऑफ द सेल डिवीजन A chromosome consists of two chromatids attached to each other at the centromere also known as the primary constriction A chromosome consisting of two chromatids is referred as a dyad According to the position of centromere chromosomes can be divided into different types metacentric means the centromere is at center dividing the chromatid into two equal arms during anaphase movement v shape chromosomes can be seen submetacentric means the centromere is slightly away from center dividing the chromatid into two unequal arms during anaphase movement l shaped chromosomes can be seen acrocentric the centromere is slightly away from tip forming two unequal arms during anaphase movement j shaped chromosome can be seen telocentric means the centromere is at the tip during anaphase movement i shaped chromosomes are seen at the centromere are present two disc shaped protein complexes called kinetochore to which spindle fibers attach during cell division they help in chromosomal movement during cell division now in some chromosomes besides the primary constriction a secondary constriction can be seen this is the secondary constriction which is also referred as nucleolar organizer or the nor as these chromosomes are associated with nucleolus and they help in the formation of nucleolus at the end of cell division in man there are five such chromosomes which have the nucleolar organizer they are chromosome number 13 14 15 21 and 22 the region outer to the secondary constriction is usually spherical in shape and is referred as a satellite or a trabant ends of the chromosomes are the telomeres they have repetitive dna and the sequence is t t a g g g they help the chromosome to maintain their identity so this is the structure of a chromosome chromosomes are made of dna and histone proteins in the ratio 1 is to 1 where dna is acidic and histone proteins are basic some amount of rna is also present due to transcription the histone proteins are of five types h1 h2a h2b h3 h4 let's come to the packaging of dna in a chromosome the chromosome is a much coiled structure so when a chromosome is uncoiled it gives a beaded appearance and the bead like structures are the nucleosomes 
Each nucleosome consists of a core particle and a linker DNA. The core particle is an octamer of four histone proteins H2A, H2B, H3, H4, each of which is present twice. H2A, H2B, H3, H4, each present twice. Surrounding which is a DNA strand made up of 146 base pairs. Base pairs means the ATGC pairs. They form one 3 by 4th coil around the octamer, a complete coil and a 3 4th coil around the octamer. Joining two core particles is the linker DNA. The linker DNA which is made up of a DNA strand of approximately 80 base pairs plus the H1 histone protein. The DNA strand completes the second coil around the octamer while the H1 histone protein stabilizes the two coils around the octamer. H1 histone protein stabilizes the two coil around the octamer. So this is how a nucleosome is. There are octamers of the four histone proteins H2A, H2B, H3 and H4 each present twice surrounding which is a DNA strand made up of 146 base pairs and this is the H1 histone protein. This diagram shows how the DNA is coiled to form chromosomes. This is the double helical DNA which is 2 nanometer in thickness which coils to form the nucleosomes with the help of histone proteins that is 10 nanometer in thickness. The nucleosomes are then coiled in the form of a solenoid having 6 nucleosomes per coil. They form a diameter of 30 nanometer. This is the chromatin thread that can be seen during the interface in the nucleus. Further coiling of chromatin into chromosomes occur with the help of scaffold proteins or you can say the non-histone chromosomal proteins. finally to make the chromosome. During the formation of chromosomes, chromatin shows two types of coiling behavior. There are regions where the chromatin is densely coiled which is referred as heterochromatin and there are regions where the chromatin is loosely coiled which is known as euchromatin. Heterochromatin is usually seen in eukaryotes densely coiled chromatin. It is found present at the telomere and the pericentromeric region. They consist of repetitive DNA and they are transcriptionally inactive. Means they do not take part in transcription. While euchromatin is loosely coiled and they are transcriptionally active. Thank you. Thank you for watching.